All right, all of our guests, why don't we meet down the end zone down here? Everybody on the end zone, here we go. Meet the Bears, back in action, two years it's been, it's crazy, but it was a great event, we had a lot of fun. Um, now we have Luca, love to come on, which is one of my favorite movies. My daughter's a little afraid of it, but she's three, so that's okay. We basically have the kids come out, we run them through drills and have fun with them and kind of get them to meet us and, you know what I mean, kind of make that connection with the community because that's, that's really huge to have that relationship, so. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. How we doing? Everybody. Here, we're all, we're all friends. We're all outside. Hey, thanks for coming tonight. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming to our... Hey, you like our new turf? Yeah. Pretty good, right? I like it, too. I like it, too. It's pretty good. Hey, really appreciate everybody coming tonight. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. All right, but guys and girls that are here right now, again, really appreciate it. Let's have a lot of fun tonight. All right, we got all of our players and coaches out here, so we're going to have a great time. So we're going to do first, we're going to get organized. Everybody good with that? Yeah. So the first thing we do in sports, we got to get organized. All right, ready to have fun? Yeah. We good? Ready to have fun? Yeah. All right. Ah, this is my son. <laughs> ready to have fun? Yeah, good. All right. <laughs> All right, five, five minutes, minutes on the, on the clock. clock. Five, five minutes, minutes on the, on the clock, clock, and then we will rotate. Here we, Here we go. go. Ronnie, Ronnie turn, turn your music, music on. on. I mean, we try to get them juiced up for it, and it's a big part of like the end of camp too. Like today was the end of training camp. We're moving on to game one, so for them, it's it's a big deal to be out in the community and be around the youth of, of Maine. For the guys like that just got here and don't really know about Maine and stuff, they don't realize how much of an impact we really have. Like when we wear these jerseys and people see us out in public, they're like, oh my god, they're like, you know what I mean? So it's like it's good for them to see that like connection that the community has with this, the team. It's just fun, and, and honestly, it's been a while, so I think the guys appreciate that and they don't really take it for granted. It's actually funny because I know a lot of the kids from when I worked at the Y, so those kids kind of grown up a couple years now, so they're like bigger and stuff. I'm like, oh man, I haven't seen you in a few years. Like, so it's, it's funny to see them all now, and they still obviously like remember me. I remember them, so it's, it's cool to have the connection. Definitely some players out here, but you know, I think it's a dead period right now. I got to double check, so you know, I won't comment on recruiting too much. All across New England, business owners are finding new ways to succeed. Families are working hard to provide for their loved ones and their future. It's the spirit of New Englanders that inspires all of us to do more. It's in our employees, our customers, and our communities. Every day we do more. Because at Bangor Savings Bank, we truly believe you matter more. Out here, if you have the will, you can lead the way. With the all-new Fisher Easy V V-Plow. Purpose built to provide industry-leading features, performance, and efficiency. Just like the other V-Plows in our lineup, but in a lightweight design that's ideal for businesses and homeowners using half-ton trucks. A strong yet versatile plow that handles the work and won't back down. The all-new Fisher Easy V V-Plow. Built for Fisher Nation. For more information, visit fisherplows.com. What if you drove an SUV that paid attention, even when you didn't? Like the Hyundai Kona, the first car in its class that monitors steering and lane position in order to alert tired or distracted drivers. Driver attention warning from Hyundai, the brand with more 2020 IIHS top safety awards than Honda or Toyota. Get the Kona or Kona Electric for just $149 a month. Visit your local Bangor Hyundai dealer.
it's incredible to be back at Belgrade Lakes, and you know it's the fifth annual Alfon Fun Golf Outing, and you know it's such a beautiful setting, you know, with uh, you know beautiful rolling hills around us and the lakes of Maine, and um, so many friends of the University of Maine athletic department who have come here and share the camaraderie and the friendship and support. Uh, for UMaine Athletics, and it's a really important day for us from a fundraising perspective uh, to be able to do what we want to do for our athletes. Well, I'm really excited to get to play. Uh, usually I'm doing the, the long drive on, on the, uh, I think, of the, the 10th, so I haven't, I haven't seen, the, seen the whole field yet, the whole uh, course yet, so I've heard it's beautiful. Looking forward to that. And, you know, go out, mess around a little bit, lose some, lose some golf balls, and talk to, talk to friends. You know, this is, what is it, our fifth year back? You said it's it's fantastic. I mean, we have golfers coming from all over New England, Maine alum, supporters, uh, coaches are here, and it's just a chance for us to get together, especially after the pandemic. Uh, seeing everybody back together again and giving high fives and hugs and talking about Maine sports is just a great day to get together. And feels like the energy's back around, you know, college athletics, and uh, I think it's particularly special this year because it feels like we're back at it. I mean, too many times we get caught up in the event side of things and we forget that there is a social side of things and, a, and an element of just enjoying each other's company that we can't ignore. There's so many good people around this department, so many good people involved with Humane Athletics um, as fans, as supporters, as donors, um, as business friends and associates um, that to see each other in a casual setting and just share some laughs and, and, uh, and a few good stories is always a great time. Main baseball, main athletics, and in general, uh, it's the people that are the first thing I think about. You know, the support we have, I and mean, this is evident of that we that, that it matters here, and uh, that's the best part of it—just meeting people, talking to people, and and everybody loves main main sports. You know, it's fun because, you know, we do it every day in the athletic department. We're one team, but when you get supporters from all the teams coming up for one event around Maine Athletics, and, you know, I think Belgrade's a, a great attraction for folks. I mean, it's, it's not hard to get people to come to Maine in July. Um, and when it's Maine Athletics and it's a beautiful location, it just makes for a fantastic day. You know, it's funny. Last year when we did this outing, it was, it was cold, it was rainy. Um, you know, everybody was kind of huddled up and shivering a little bit. But it was so exciting to be out and it'd be exciting to see people that it almost the weather almost didn't bother you. But then you turn around and you got a day that's in the mid 80s. You got a you know a beautiful sunny day here in, in Maine, and you just can't beat it. You can just see how everybody's spirits are lifted. Everybody's talking about coming back to football and hockey games with full crowds and being excited to cheer on their black bears. It just feel, it feels great to have that energy around. You know, we go somewhere, get off the plane, and you see they see the old English M. They're like, "Hey, this is Maine." It happens all the time. And then when you know they, you know, people are just, "Hey, you know, we're gonna get up to, up to the golf out and gonna go to the to the events." You know, that shows reverse support where it's not just about, if, "Hey, if we're in the, in town, let's meet up." It's, "Hey, we are making the effort to come and support you know the place we love." It's been fantastic for us as a development event. We raise over $100,000 and we put that directly back into the programs. So the money uh, from the day is given to each program uh, and they can put that right back into what they need the most for their program, whether that's travel, recruiting, equipment, uh, special things they do for the team. It's money that we don't have budgeted. So the, the funds we raise today are really important to the athletic department and they help us go a little bit above and beyond with the, with the individual teams and their budgets and what they need to do to provide the experience their kids deserve and uh, what we need to do to compete at the Division One level here in Maine. I think uh, you have some really good baseball players that are offensive players that are really good golfers and they'll tell you the swing is no different. But I was not a good offensive player, so I think the swings are totally different. So, you know, once again, I'm gonna push that uh, question back off to you. <laughs> My favorite parts of the day is, is seeing people who can let their guard down a little bit and be themselves. You know, I, I think so many times, and you know, we're dealing with some folks here who are um, have done extraordinarily well in the business community, or who are are really you know, doing extraordinary things with nonprofits in the state. And, and everybody sort of has a role to play as part of that. But yet they come out in the golf course and they can just be themselves, like let their hair down and be fun and, and tell funny stories and and just enjoy each other's company. And uh, we don't get a chance to do that enough. And so the fact that we get to do it for five hours out here today makes us feel awfully good. The way I'm gonna keep score today is how many balls I lose. So that's, that's my expectation, so I'll take it for what it is. Uh, my favorite part is when I hit, actually hit the fairway, which is not every, every tee shot for me, but uh, I just like seeing the people again. And like I said, especially this year, 
I mean, we're like one big family up here at the University of Maine. When you get a chance to see the folks that, that you used to see every day at a game, and you kind of, you kind of, you know, took it for granted a little bit. And I think through the pandemic and playing games with no fans and canceling games and all the stuff we've been through, it's just nice to give people a handshake and a hug again and see your friends. And it really helps me to appreciate just how special it is up here at the University of Maine and how special our supporters and our teams and our athletes are. Duncan, it's a game day ritual, like giving yourself a pregame pep talk. Let's go, Devin. This is your moment. Let's dominate. Yeah, Kyle. All that stuff Devin said. Yeah. It's always game on with Duncan. Rewards members enjoy a hot or iced medium coffee for $2 on Tuesdays. It's time to plan those summer days relaxing and entertaining on your new deck. Replacing, expanding, or building new, Hammond Lumber Company has everything you need to get started right away. With both wood and quality brand low-maintenance composite decking and a wide selection of railings, posts, and fasteners. Your Hammond sales rep will help you with your selections and design and can even come out for a job site consultation. Hammond can also refer you to builders in your area and can deliver anywhere in the state. Enjoying life outdoors on your deck begins when you bring your vision to Hammond Lumber Company. Do you know your main dairy farmers? Chances are we're a lot like you. We are parents, grandparents, we are small business owners. We are a part of our communities. We are your neighbors. We are undeniably dairy. Duncan, it's a game day ritual, like giving yourself a pregame pep talk. Let's go, Devin. This is your moment. Let's dominate. Yeah, Kyle. All that stuff Devin said. Yeah. It's always game on with Duncan. Rewards members enjoy a hot or iced medium coffee for $2 on Tuesdays. All across New England, business owners are finding new ways to succeed. Families are working hard to provide for their loved ones and their future. It's the spirit of New Englanders that inspires all of us to do more. It's in our employees, our customers, and our communities. Every day we do more. Because at Bangor Savings Bank, we truly believe you matter more. I think the number one thing that's stood out so far is just the violence that we've been playing with, especially up front, getting off blocks and, and tackling really well um, as a group. You know, in the first scrimmage, we had about uh, eight missed tackles total in the, in the scrimmage, and you know, that's a pretty good number for the first time tackling you know, in a few months. So we've been pretty, pretty happy with that. Obviously, there's room to, room to improve, um, and we're going to continue to do that throughout camp. Yeah, so the biggest, the biggest emphasis here after the first scrimmage has really been situational football. Being able to get guys in and out of you know red zone, third down, um, two minute situations. You know, and we've put the guys in some tough spots, uh, just trying to see how they react. You know, kind of when the bullets are flying a little bit, and that's what we really want to see in the next couple of weeks. Just getting a little bit better, understanding situations, different concepts offensively. You know, that we're going to see in those situations, and be able to react and play you know, within, the, within, the, uh, within a game. It's actually been really impressive. You know, it started over the summer. A lot of the new guys were able to get up here in the summer, whether it was June or July. Um, and, and they've spent a lot of time together, you know, before they got to camp. Um, and then obviously the, the amount of time we've been together in camp, um, those guys have really stepped in and, and, and been a part of the, the black hole pretty quickly. Um, and I think our guys have accepted those guys um, that, that have been able to contribute and, and add depth to the team. And, um, you know, they're all high character guys, high effort guys that I think really fit into what we're trying to do here. 
Yeah, I think, like I said, the, the violence up front, the guys that, that are uh, giving great effort. I mean, a lot of times the sacks and, and the, the TFLs come from just effort plays. And, and those guys have really had a great camp so far. And um, I think our depth has created competition at those positions. And so guys are really straining to, to give all you know, their, their full effort and, and really uh, getting in the playbook, understanding technique, and, and that's translated to the field. I think the number one thing is the swarm and the effort that the guys play with, uh, the passion that they play with. You know, we have a lot of guys that love the game of football, um, that, that are here you know, to play football for the state of Maine and are excited about the opportunity. And, and you know, when those guys are out there, you can see that. You know, they, they play with passion, energy, excitement. They really swarm to the football. Um, and, and I think that's going to translate to a lot of big plays for us. We've been really kind of been able to hit the ground running and uh, play fast and uh, really execute at a high level. We have playmakers at every position and we have explosive playmakers at, at positions. Um, we got to put them in the right spots, um, but we're going to do a great job at uh, throwing the ball down the field. Um, we have some, some players in the run game that, you know, they in a phone booth, they'll make anybody miss. Um, and, and have an explosive play waiting for them. So um, we're gonna start fast. That's the biggest uh, emphasis here is from play one, we wanna come out and play hard and play fast and play physical. Um, and, and we'll see that on Saturdays and on game day. We always talk in the quarterback room about being a leader. So I think taking the next step there for him is gonna be crucial, uh, not just uh, in understanding, but bringing guys with him. Um, and then from a football standpoint, we feel like we can do almost everything that we wanna do with him. And uh, it's just to continue the to expand that, that menu and that playbook and um, put more things on him at the line of scrimmage um, and, and really go out there and let him play. We have to cut down on our human error. Um, you know, we have to get aligned. We have to play faster. Uh, we have to make sure that we're executing in critical situations. So as we get into the tail end of camp here, uh, when we put these guys in tough situations, the harder the, harder, the better. Uh, we want to see them come out on top and, and really um, it, embrace them and uh, come out and execute. Uh, football is all about structure, and uh, I think our guys thrive with it. They like knowing the schedule, knowing where they need to be, uh, what time they need to be there, what time things start, um, and it's really helped us get into a flow, um, understanding what's next, being able to anticipate the next move, whether it be schedule, the play, uh, the meetings, um, and we've done a really nice job handling that, even though we haven't done it in two years. We, we talked in our first unit meeting, we, we need to be the closest, tightest knit unit in the country for us to do what we want to do. Um, and, and from the first day of camp, we had guys in, introducing themselves, uh, telling us a little bit more just, uh, than just their last name and their number. And, and guys really understand where people are from and um, you know, what makes them work hard and um, you know, what drives them to play football. And so we've really gotten a great understanding of each other. Um, and I've been really happy with even the new guys really just fitting right in um, and kind of you know, turning the page and, and getting ready to go. Start fast in execution. Um, we've been preaching that, whether it's a, a skelly period or a team period, uh, an individual period, go out and play it full speed um, and, and execute at a high level. And if we can do those two things, you know, I think everything else will take care of itself.
Right Wouldn't feel it that, but don't get carried away. But shout out to the 302, man. Another 302. 302, right man. 302, man. You already know. Greatest state ever to ever live. I don't even gotta give y'all no reasons why. You mean? Can I get one? At least one. Tax. We don't got that. I'm gonna leave it there. Ain't that right, Debo? Well, look at that, the nine give you some <laughs> informative things about the Ew. 302. 302, but man. I wouldn't say that. It's just the, the greatest land, bro. Land of the forgotten. A lot of people don't even know about Delaware. Yeah. I mean, and I don't know why. Oh! We got the old town legend himself in the building, y'all. Making you the camera? Yes, sir. Yeah. And now you the camera, <laughs> man, I'm making it. Why y'all walk here on some calm vibes, though? <laughs> what you gotta say to the people on this lovely morning? <laughs> hey man, it's a blessed day to be a black man, man. Media day, let's have some fun today, man. Talk to yourself, man. Sure. Say something to the some people on this morning. Man. Everybody watching this, you're beautiful. <laughs> you know what it is, man? We out here, about to get some filming in, about to get some pics in, you know what I'm saying? Media day, baby. Feel me? And they let anybody grab the camera these days? Oh, that's great. <laughs> What's up, Shelby? We appreciate you. You know that always, especially on this big old day like Media Day. Ryan, I appreciate Jonesy. You as well, Jonesy. We see you back there. It's all love always. Man, the prettiest black bear right here. I already know that. Oh my God. Prettiest, prettiest black bear? No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. Look, look, Whatever. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that vote to y'all. That's easily the funniest thing happening. Just happening. Turn it around, my boy. See, no, no. Say something. Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? What's up? Where you from, bro? Oh, I'm from Chicago. My name is Ralph. Jordan Ralph. Ro Ro. They call me Ro Ro. No one calls him Ro Ro. No one calls me Ro Ro. All right, Uncle Mike, Lord Farquhar. Yep, that's it. Canadian brother. What's good, man? What's my good, Canadian man? Canadian brother, right Media here. Media day, you know what I mean? I gotta give you back to the boss, though. Jack, tell him where we're from. You know, my chow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, chill. Yeah. Chill. What's up, Joe? How's Media Day been for you? You know, Media Day's going uh, just swell. That's good. <laughs> talk, to, talk to the people. How's Media Day been for hey, you, people. Boy? Media Day's fun. We're having a good time. Hanging out with the guys, it's always good. How's this nice, I guess, off day? Off day is good. Day? <laughs> Got some meetings later, gonna get back to it. Good. Just good? Why are you being so vague, man? Come on. Come on. Ask me, you're not asking any questions. Pretty smile, come on. Ask a question. Look at it, look at him. Hey guys. Outer Banks season Wait, who's two, better watch in golf? It. Who's better in golf? Oh, than me, me. Not even close. Watch not, that thing, watch, watch that thing, watch that thing. Watch watch that thing. Watch I have the second best score in the house. No. I shot a 94. Nobody else came close to me. Golf, FIFA, 2K. He sugar. got smoked in I heard FIFA. you stroke a double bogey, honey. Double bogey. I mean, sometimes it happens. Uh, here we hey, are hey, boy, with Eric, Rich. I'm going to leave you all with him. I said, I said, this, uh, said, you take over for now. They said give it to Rich Carr. Why would they say that? They're in the life you tell me, long. man. Start vlogging. Start, Start vlogging. vlogging. Make it good. Yes, wow. sir. Who <laughs> said make it good? Wow, that's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Say anything, bro. Bro, you want to be in it? Honestly, you want to be in it bad. Yeah, I can tell nah, you've been following me around. Feel me? You got the whole gang here. You got two. Two in the yeah. building. He gave you sky blue and all that. Like, you feel me? Calm shit. You feeling like good, like looking like good. <laughs> we got to get all of this. You look good, boy. Appreciate it. Say something to the camera. Why right? say something to the people? I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I love him. Cap Rich. For, I love, I love 40, 40 plus starts. You feel me? And counting. And counting. Right, six, six guys. Really? Can I see something for the camera? Okay, okay. Lean, mean, fighting machine. Jeez, jeez. Say what's up. You can be on the camera. Look good, feel good, play good. Shout out to the man behind the camera. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've been here for four years and it's always been a family, but this year is just like, I think coming off the COVID year where we really were missing that, like we didn't get to do team bonding last year, stuff like that. Like now that we get to do that again and have our July period where we get to know each other and just really bond as a team has been crucial. Coming off of last year, this one is just a little bit extra special, just simply because of the year that we're coming off of. 
And I think one of the things that you, you're just seeing the players and even the staff just appreciate the simple things, being able to be in the cafeteria, being able to, to, to be in, a, in, in our video room and have team meetings and be able to see each other's faces and just operate in a more normal fashion has just, I think, just brought a lot of joy to everybody. We have movie nights at the, where we live at the Ave and we, do, um, we did a volleyball tournament, like soccer, tennis. We did the ropes course um, over behind the rec, which is like a team bonding thing, which has been really good. And like people get out of their comfort zones because they're propelled in the air and stuff like that. And it, you just have to trust people. And some of them got valuable experience in the spring uh, in what was really an unconventional year for us. And uh, I think they're seeing now the other side of it to having the luxuries of a preseason period, to doing the team building, to being able to have the two exhibition games to really get a sense of you know, where they fit and where our team is and to have understand what to expect. Well, I think, you know, the foundation, what we started from in preseason is really just a, a really sound defensive structure, defending structure. You know, really the mindset is, is you know, your, your defending is your first attacking action in soccer. So when you're set up well, you have a good defensive structure, it really is the, is the start of your attack. So to score goals, you have to be you have to have a plan for how you're going to win the ball, where you're going to win the ball. And so far for us, uh, we've been very good on that side. And, and even though the outcome of scoring goals didn't happen so much in the Northeastern game, uh, we created a lot of chances against a very good team. Um, and we hope that that just keeps continuing to translate into our offensive output. We actually sat down and wrote down a bunch of goals that we, um, with the coaches and us, us as players. And so we have a lot of goals that um, individually and as a, collectively as a team that we want to reach. So just like hitting some, hitting most of those goals is really important and just like um, getting over like the hurdles that we're going to face in the season together is really important. And well, we certainly, we want to make the America East Conference playoffs um, because we know if we get in that door, then we have a real, anybody can win the championship. And you win the championship, you go to the NCAA tournament. We want to have a winning season. Uh, we want to be in a situation where we're the, the team had said that they, we score more goals than we have in the last four years in any best year. So 22 is our target. Uh, we want to give away fewer than one goal a game. And all of these things that are really uh, realistic and measurable and are on a timeline allow us to really stay focused. And we feel if we do those things well, the outcomes of, of getting to the playoffs uh, and winning a championship, you know, really will be kind of take care of themselves. So we're really focused on the things that we can control uh, and the things that we can do from a game to game, training to training basis, with the idea that the long-term outcome will take care of itself. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.